Hi, I'm Andrew McClure with Car Show Television, and we're here today with Bill Barlow for a special segment. Um, I got the chance to meet Bill at a car show at North Perry last weekend, and we kind of held back some of the footage because after I met him, I knew that this was something more than just a, a quick interview, and that it required some special attention. And as I come out here today and started talking with Bill, I found that that's definitely the case. Well, it's been my pleasure to have you come out here, and I was very surprised uh, when I met you and your family out there and the kind of work that you're trying to do. And, I, and it, it falls right in line with what I like to do. Is I like to entertain people that normally don't get entertained. I go to the VA hospitals, nursing homes, I go to the children's hospitals, and I go to different charity events and make them laugh and have a good time. And, and it's something that I can give back because uh, I've been doing this for many, many years professionally uh, for film companies and supplying cars and uh, transportation. And I, when I turned uh, 75, I kind of found myself uh, looking for something to do. And I thought, well, I, if I could build cars for them people, I'll build some for me and maybe use them for a charity. And, I'm a Florida Mason, I'm a Scottish Rite Mason in Miami. They have a, a, a flagship charity for children that have speech and language disorders. Uh, children are born with cleft lips. We do a lot of work back and forth with the Shriners and Shriners Hospital, the Miami Hospitals. I've been to Joe DiMaggio's Children's Hospital and many other benefits where we raise money for those kids. So I've last year raised about $4,000 uh, for the kids that had the speech and language disorders. We spent four weekends around uh, Easter time out at the Flamingo Road Nursery on Flamingo Road and the gentleman that owns the Flamingo Road Nursery wrote us a check to the children's, uh, uh, to the Scottish Rite Foundation children's fund for a thousand dollars so he's been a big benefactor and a great help and I decided what what I wanted to do is I wanted to try to make make uh, people happy and and enjoy the cart we go to the VA hospital we go to the nursing home I hit the golf cart taking it out of the garage on the way over to a, a function for autistic children and my wife ran in and got the band-aids and put out to an air and the first two autistic children that came out of that building seen that boo-boo and went over and kissed it. And there we were, there was about 50 of them lined up. Every one of them had to kiss that boo-boo before we could do anything with the car. And then when the car started to perform, it was just, it was heart-wrenching. I, I got off into the shadows with my remote control. The doors were opening, closing, the headlights. These go up and down, the bumper goes up and down, the hood goes up and down and the car goes up in the air, which uh, is pretty cool. The kids love Herbie. That's the Shriner. Yeah. The Shriner's Hospital in Tampa, where they have burn centers. And if you've seen some of the children that they've helped with cleft lips and speech therapy, the Shriners do one, one heck of a job as far as, you know, taking care of needy people. You know, the, the parents never get a bill at the Shriners Hospital at all. And they also put the families up while they're there working on the children. We did the Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital and when we turned the corner, I put Herbie up in the air. The kids were jumping out of their wheelchairs. I have grown men to walk over and talk to this car. But that seen the video in the jungles of Vietnam. You know, 63 year old men that uh, we even had a motorcycle cop over in Miami Springs came over. And he's talking to the car and he says, You're still around, Herbie. I can't believe you're still around. And it squirts water out of here. And while he was here patting the fender, I filled his boot full of water. And he started looking all around to see who was making the car squirt the water and finally pinned it down to me and he shook his finger at me and he came over and told me that 
you know, he was in Vietnam in 69 when this movie came out, and obviously he must have sent him over to them in the jungle to watch the movie, and so there's an attachment to this car from the Vietnam era all the way up into the present day. But there's a whole generation out there now of, of people that don't know who Herbie is, but they know who Tometer is. Now, Tometer is the new Herbie. Let me start off by saying that Tometer is sitting on top of a 96 S10 Chevy pickup truck. Under this dummy, dummy motor is a four-cylinder fuel-injected electronic ignition motor. It has racket pinion steering, air conditioning, power disc brakes, all the modern amenities. I have a friend who works in the film industry who came and, and actually drew the mouth and all for me and then we made the mouth four different times. This is the fifth one and this is the one that I'm going to keep. Later only had one headlight and in order to drive it at night we had to put another headlight so we hid it in here. The bed in the back is all recycled street signs. Some of the fellas that work at the airport was able to salvage these signs. There's actually a, a one inch aluminum uh, ribs in here. This hasn't been welded on yet. This is our next step, is to weld this on and then fill it in so no little fingers can get in there. The back of the truck is actually a, a tow truck, but it doesn't, doesn't tow. This is an old flagpole, the centerpiece. This is the electrical tubing. And I made all that up as a facade to make it look like it's a tow truck. And I could take four bolts out and take this out of the truck. Like if I was going to do a parade and I had a bunch of Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts that wanted to ride in the truck, I can put them in the back of here and get this out of here. It's just, that's just a facade to make it look like a real tow truck. Everything is all factory. If I want to buy a part for any part of the car, I, I asked for a 96 S10. This is me with Shakira. I don't know if a lot of the young people today know Shakira. I got to know her many years back, about seven or eight years ago, before she was a big star. And I knew then that she was going to be big. Uh, the girl is very talented. She's very a lovely person, and I had a lot of fun with her. She's also got moving parts that I didn't think any human being had and she uh, of course a belly dancer originally and uh, but she did a really good job of acting and singing and she sure got my heart. A lot of these here were movie props like this air pump, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, traffic uh, meter, parking meter. There's another air pump right over there next to Elvis. At the Vietnam helicopter that was given to me by a, a, a fellow who actually was in the helicopters in Vietnam. A 50 caliber machine gun that was used in a commercial for, for uh, Old Spice. We had it mounted on a Jeep and uh, the prop department made that. It was made out of an old exhaust pipe and some tin cans and a couple of pieces of electrical tubing. And they had a fellow there that he would, he would make anything they wanted. If you told him to build you a castle, he'd build you a castle. People bring me things. I got this recently. A lady passed away and her daughter bought me this. It's a, a Sears and Roebuck Kenmore vacuum cleaner. If anyone's seen the movie The Rocketeer with William Campbell, in the movie, he flew around uh, with his backpack on and the bad guys came to try to steal the, the rocket that he was flying and they substituted the rocket in a backpack. They, they put this in instead of the rocket and the bad guy sold the vacuum cleaner. I worked on the movie Havana with Robert Redford. I worked almost three years on that movie. We sent 125 cars to San Domingo, old cars from 1959 and back and then we had to bring them back to the States. So we not only sent them out, but we had to bring them all back. Beverly Hillbilly's truck that I built, we had that for a while. Had a lot of fun playing Jed Clampett. 
The best only may, may we ever had was a cross dresser that uh, was a knockout. It was amazing. TV shows, uh, Unsolved Mysteries, America's Most Wanted. The 1WW 9117 was on Robert Redford's car in Havana, the movie Havana at the end of the movie in Key West. The one to the left of that, uh, 1WW, is the Cuban tag that was on a Cadillac in the movie Havana. And the BLR 705 is off of the car that we had on a, a movie called Bird on a Wire with Goldie Hawn. That's a 58 old 88 convertible. The 1947 Ford that's hanging up on the wall was in the movie Havana. We totally wrecked the car and that was the only part of the car that didn't get down. So we hung it up and same with this. This was a a uh, a Ward called Ward. Remember Ward La France was one of the fire truck. That was a tractor or a tractor and sailor called the Ward. And uh, also that got wrecked in the movie.